Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. He O D the Empire O Dirt. We are gathered here on this fine summer even tide in commiseration of procrastination. Got a honey do list round to it, getting round to it, just about as long as my arm. But like I tell the wife, honey, baby, sugar, darling, no need to remind me every six months about it. I'm all over it. I, uh, well, the, the, the beautiful thing about my better three quarters, she's very thoughtful. Nice little surprises bring a tear to my eye, especially when I got to zip up extra quick. She bought this for me for, look at this, look at this. How, how did she know? It's an electric choocher. Yeah. At first blush, this looks like a plastic piece of shit would come with an Amazon order of new shoes. Marriage, it's all about conscription. Or c c c c c I haven't quite got that far yet. The thing is, you get past the patina of uh, Chineseium here, and the thing is cool as frig, sort of like one of those interminable obey sauces you gotta go to with your wife and uh, somebody's droning on and on, but you give her the old wink and a nod towards the broom closet, and all of a sudden she's funnered and shit. Check this out. <laughs> Holy fuck. As discussed previous, there is no need to patronize you with the hierarchy of materials, but these wood elves would uh, use the organic carbohydrate foam, what came from a living being. Cutting op old tree carcass is disgusting. Not only is it flammable, it's also inflammable. Gleefully catering to our inner firebug, we see the business end here with the angry up pixies jumping across that uh, spark gap giving us enough heat to, to light things at a distance. This is a remote fire starter, if you will. A remote in that you're oh, nine inches away from the line of fire. There's a joke in there somewhere <laughs> involving your mother and me. But we gotta get into the meat of her to see what angries up to Pixies on account of this just takes but uh, 300 milliamps from your USB at five volts. And we can see it's got all the proper accreditations the Chinese excrement, as well as the FCC. Fnarf, fnarf, chuckle, chuckle. Yeah, sure, boys. And it runs on 220 milliamp hour uh, lithium. Well, it says capacity here. So that's ostensibly enough for 400 fires. Well, with any luck, granted, bad luck sometimes the only luck you got. We'll be able to get this A part without deploying the nutfucker slash x-ray device but it is at the ready and we'll, this appears to be either glued or ultrasonically welded uh, now I want to get this back together because we're gonna test to see how noisy it actually is if it if it complies with our internal FCC testing which is not accredited uh, Make no mistake about that. Jesus. Fucking thing tried to kill me. There we go. Safety first. Uh, oh. Aha! Said the blind man as he picked up his hammer and saw. Mucho screwos. I haven't done a limerick in a while, actually. I don't know. Twas once a pirate named Bates who danced the fandango on skates. He fell on his cutlass, which rendered him nutless and practically useless on dates. To which he replied, savagely, I might add, I fail to see how an accidental castration prevents him from carrying a wallet. Ho, 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 ho. Savage, savage. As a white man of a certain age, a white liberated man of a certain age, I'm gonna get a refund on your finishing school tuition. We're in like sin. We got some cute stuff going on. I'm uh, well. I got the old long tail cat in a room full of rocking chairs routine. I don't want to. I, I don't like stuff I can't see. I don't like getting electrocuted. But I was thinking that this would be a voltage doubler or a voltage Googleplexer of <laughs> oh fuck Zuckerberg Instagram coffee filters. <laughs> They're listening to everything we say. So this is a fairly simple circuit. Let's see how bad I can fuck it up. Tangents aside, um, this is not a diode 
uh, voltage doubler or voltage Google Plexer circuit, which I had assumed it would be, but then thinking about it, of course, you need AC in order to take. Oh, it's an interesting circuit because all you do is you take diodes and you put them in a certain configuration and you run AC through it and it doubles the voltage. It's pretty neat. And then you add another one, it triples the voltage, another diode and another diode and another diode, and you get up to breakdown voltage of the diode. So you got to buy special diodes, yada, yada, yada. So I don't know why the fuck I was thinking that, especially with the AC and so forth, but all kidding aside, what's going on here is fairly simple. We have the uh, poly, the lithium, battery pack with protection built in it's capped on tape this of course is tape what does not melt it burns so a very high temperature tape expensive and it's on you'll see this in electronicals i keep the stuff around because it's fan fucking tastic a little bit expensive so we got voltage going in here we have what appears to be a special chip there's no markings on here but it appears to be spun up for this particular purpose because it has both a a charge uh, capability, a charging circuit capability. So this guy would be driving this little MOSFET to ensure that we don't over voltage this lithium cell. Lithium does not like getting over voltage. Then we have a big old MOSFET, well, tiny, but big compared to the other components, MOSFET in here. And this brain box would also be controlling the MOSFET. This outputs from this MOSFET outputs the angry pixies, well, mildly annoyed pixies, into a transformer. And that transformer on the primary would have a few turns, and on the secondary here, as witnessed by the high voltage leads, there's some silicon carney, some sort of high uh, dielectric strength plastique, what go to the spark gap. And essentially all we're doing is we're probably switching this MOSFET on an ORF at 20,000 hertz and that is going through the transformer and getting bumped up to huge huge voltages. We got this little um, tactile switch it's a half size tactile switch I tried to use these for the for the rulers where is one of them things oh yeah shameless product placement ha <laughs> oh and the old coffee mug nope still not clean but um, the half size were actually more expensive than the full size and you only have two uh, a fixation points on the half size and you got four on this one so it's just more better that way holy old fuck boys this thing just a givener shred hard look at this arcs right through this dielectric material that is some high high voltage there's the EOD stimulated compliance FCC testing rest in pieces uh, fed phone users oh yeah <laughs> not quite sure if I fucked that up quite hard enough so we're gonna try the old Big Clive routine if and you like electronicals he does uh, live action role playing with this sort of stuff quite a well spoken and uh, I really enjoy his widgeos and it ain't uh, I'll tell you this right now partner it ain't easy to do this shit on the fly I sure as fuck can't do it so I'm gonna give her a try see how badly I fuck it up and you'll notice that I am doing some mindless things here as I think about how to schematize this circuit. He does it, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a thing of beauty, a big beautiful boy. Big Clive, go and check it out. He'll be at uh, the end of the Vigeo. I put him down in the doobly-doo and over here in, in the corner. Okay, so what we got is starting at the beginning. And you can't even fucking see that. Okay, let's see here. Do, do, do. Yeah, I'm normally too busy laughing at my own jokes to even attempt to do stuff on the fly. So, what we get is the battery here. And that feeds into a bunch of stuff. Oh, fuck, this is hard. I can't do this on the fly. How does he fucking do it? Okay, so. And then, uh huh. There's the primary, and then there'll be a secondary with gazillions. 
and then this will go to the spark gap. So every time that this um, every time this pulse is on and off, like this is going at oh a high rate of speed, 20 kilohertz, something like that. Every time this pulse is on and off, it changes. Well, there's a changing uh, electric flux, which makes magnetic flux, which uh, turns over to the secondary, which increases the voltage, but decreases the current. So we get a huge amount of voltage out of here from low voltage here, but a reasonable amount of current, say uh, 100 milliamps, something like that. One interesting thing is this component is potted. It's made. Uh, it's not bought off the shelf. It's made by somebody and then just potted in plastic and we can see the actual coil is just about sticking out of there. You see right on there. So yeah, that is, uh, that's how it's made. And you could make your own if you could ever read this schematic. Thanks for watching. Go check out Big Clive if you actually want to learn something about electronics. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a voice. Uh, any electrical engineering students or, or proper electrical engineers, please go ahead and send your eye cancer treatment bills to uh, YouTube California, care of the King of Random. Also, I got, uh, uh, well, I, you know, everybody needs a whipping boy. Come on. I can't be everyone's whipping boy. So I made some new stickers <laughs> and they're actually moving pretty good. So we will run out here pretty quick. There's some urgency there. <laughs> you got to get on it. Get on it. So the stickers over on the Etsy also. Uh, thanks a lot for your help. I appreciate. I know you, you mainly buy it just to help me out. And I thank you. That is nice. I think if they just stood up and delivered these services.